Hey guys, what's up? Hey, it's Colton Lindsay. How would you like to be able to double, triple, or even quadruple the number of appointments you're setting in your real estate business? I'd like to have even more meetings with buyers and sellers. Well, hey, listen here, because I'm gonna be sharing with you the five mistakes that every real estate agent is making in their prospecting today. And this didn't happen by chance. I learned these mistakes myself over the last 13 years, making tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of prospecting calls. So let's hop right into it. The number one biggest mistake that I see made, made people making today isn't even the fact that they're not calling enough people. That is a mistake, but it's they're not bringing the energy and enthusiasm. I just recently shared in the Fearless Agent Facebook group a bonus tip on mistakes that realtors are making at their listing presentation. And it's the same one, but I'm gonna make it the number one here inside of prospecting mastery because when you're low when your energy on the phone people don't want to meet with you they don't want to set up a time to hear what you have to say so make sure you bring the enthusiasm which means how do you get more enthusiasm it starts from the very moment that your feet hit the ground in the morning look at the energy I bring in these live streams that's the type of energy and emotion you got to bring to the table when it comes to real estate sales, specifically on the phone, because people are not attracted to the duds. They're attracted to the life, to the energy, to the excitement. So bring that to your prospecting call. The second mistake that people are making inside of prospecting today, I already named it, is they're not making enough prospecting calls. I see a lot of you guys that are participating in the 28-day challenge, and you're posting five contacts a day. This just isn't going to... 40, 50 contacts or more a day with today's market and how trends are shifting. People are getting fed so much information through social media, through the internet, through email, through marketing, that they're getting confused and that's why they need you now more than ever today so you can set them straight. But that means you've got to talk to more people. And the third thing is, is that in order to do that, in order when you're talking to more people, the secret is to lose fewer opportunities. So the third mistake that realtors are making today is they're not practicing their scripts. They're not getting great at their communication and the opportunity to take a lead to an appointment, the opportunity to find a prospect and turn it into a lead. The fourth mistake that people are making today is they're not starting on a scheduled time. Here's what I mean by that. How often do you find yourself saying, I'm going to start at 8 a.m. and for whatever reason you find shit to do till 9 before you make your first phone call. And as you start making your phone calls, some new shit comes up and so you start working on that shit. Next thing you know, it's 11.30 and you've made only 10 calls because you didn't start on time and you let other shit get in the way. So the biggest mistake I'm seeing realtors do is they don't get started on, on 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whatever time is scheduled for you. Start at that time, pick up the phone and do that first thing immediately because it's the most important part of your business. Without customers, you're broke. Okay. The next one is, which is number five, and I believe this is one of the most important when it comes to not only the listing presentation, but really on the prospecting calls, guys, is you're not getting your question answered. How often do you get objections on the phone. Put a yes in the comments if you ever run into that problem. Every single time I'm on the phone, I hear objections. But the mistake is, is not getting the question answered and chasing after that objection. I hear you guys all the objection handler for this. The real question is, did you get your question answered? Let me give you an example. If you knew 100% for certain doing business with me, two things would happen. One is you sell your house, Mr. Seller. The other is you end up with way more money in your pocket. And I know it's a big promise, but if it were true, would you even want to hear more about it? Be honest with me. Now, if they start to talk about how they've got a friend in the business that they're going to list with in three weeks, guess what? You didn't get your question answered. Ask it again. Ask it three or four times. Get that question answered. And you don't even have to deal with the objection of the friend or the time of the waiter or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Get your questions answered. Now, here's the bonus. This is where I know a lot of you guys are messing up. Why? Because I deal with this same challenge today, especially in the last five years since social media has blown up and part of social media marketing. Distracted. So the biggest mistake, the bonus mistake that I'm seeing you guys make today is you're not staying focused on the phone call. So that when you actually get that person that says, yes, I'm thinking of selling, you're distracted by a video on YouTube or something on Facebook or a text message. And so you don't know how to handle that opportunity. So if you can allow yourself and create a ritual that causes you to be extremely focused in your prospecting calls, when you do get that yes, after you just made 37 contacts, you're going to be ready to pounce on it. You're going to be able to say, where where are you moving to next? Oh, awesome. What takes you there? Find out their motivation, drive it in, ask the magic question, shift it to closing, get the appointment set so you can go give you a rock star fearless agent listing presentation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed 
these five mistakes and the bonus mistakes and you can really write them down. Watch this video again if you have to. Write down these mistakes and commit to not making these mistakes anymore in your prospecting business. Make sure to give me some thumbs up if you enjoyed this and turn on those notifications so you see all my live streams coming at you. And make sure to turn on the notifications on my YouTube channel as well. Subscribe now, like, comment, share. We'll see you guys later start to break it down and then you can make that adjustment with your prospecting which gets you on even more appointments and if you get on even more appointments is that going to make you more money or make you less money